Hey, what's good y'all boys? Boxy, man. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos, bro, but uh, I just got off my uh, exam week. So I'm gonna be back on my grind. Uh, first video I'm doing for y'all today is gonna be a dribble tutorial because you guys been asking for it for a while, bro. Look at the back of my backboard. What the heck? But yeah, you guys been asking for it for a while. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get I'm not going to say how to get glitchy, because this is a little bit different. You guys might not have uh, might not have uh, expected me to make a video like this, but I'm going to be teaching y'all drum moves to get open in the stage. Or you could do it in park, but you know what I mean, at the highest level. Drum moves that you, you guys want to use at the highest level to get open. Um, right now, I'm on a 5'10 play shot, so my moves might look a bit faster than y'all boys. But if you guys do have a high ball handle over like 85, 86, 87, and then you guys have like a high speed, uh, you guys should, even even low you guys should just be getting open with these moves. You guys just need an 85 ball handle, and then you guys should be getting open with these moves. But obviously, the higher speed you have, um, like, the easier it's going to be to get open, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, uh, first off, y'all just want to go into the my court to practice these moves. Um... Invite somebody to my court. My favorite person to invite to the my court is uh, uh, Kemba Walker because his defense is at. So I invite him here. And then uh, you would start a, a personal workout. But uh, I'm going to have to show y'all boys my badges for it. My badges and my uh, SIG. So uh, here's my badges. These don't really matter. These are just, yeah, these don't matter. But uh, these are what matters. So. I guess bullet pass it doesn't matter if if you guys are just wanting w to know what badges you need to dribble you don't even need hyperdrive for uh this type of dribbling you could add it but you need handles quick first step and quick chain as high as you can put all those as high as you can um handles so that you don't run out of stamina obviously cuz I know a lot of people been asking yo boxy every time you dribble you never run out of stamina why don't you run out of stamina you got infinite stamina Bro, do you guys understand what this badge does? Like, just look into it, bro. Quick first step, this is what's going to make you just bounce on your first step. Just go crazy. And then quick chain after the first three dribbles, your guy moves faster, I think. I think, yeah, your guy gets, like, a little speed boost, moves faster. Unpluckable, obviously, you want that. And, uh, yeah, so those are the badges. Now I'm going to go into the SIGs. So yeah, there's a couple different SIGs you could use. So first off, put on Pro uh, pro Jumper, uh, Hop Jumper Pro 2. That's a move that I taught in the last dribble tutorial. But yeah, these are these are the SIGs. Go with Quick. I'm telling y'all right now, Quick is the best for everything. You just go with Quick. So Quick Dribble Style. It'll let you dribble glitchy like, like Steezo kind of dribbling. Or it'll let you dribble at how I want to dribble. Um, for this video, I'm going to be using D-Rose. You guys could also use Kemba Walker. Honestly, if you guys want, I could come out with another dribble tutorial on how to do standstill dribbling like crazy. That's when you want to use Kemba Walker because it's more fluent when you're um, chaining together gym moves. But D-Rose is a lot faster. So there's that. Uh, signature combo, Baron Davis. Here, here, Here's where it gets a bit tricky. You could use D-Lillard or you could use Trey Young. They like D Lillard, so I'm gonna keep that on. Moving crossover, I put on Steph Curry. You could put on Michael Jordan, Steph Curry, LeBron, don't matter. Uh, Scotty Pippen behind the back, basic moving hesitation. I have on Rondo. Uh, moving step back, I have on Chris Paul, and uh, yeah, that's about it, man. So I'm again to the dribble tutorial for y'all. All right, man. So there's a lot of drill moves that I want to teach y'all boys, but uh. So for first off, I'm going to go easy because I know a lot of y'all boys don't really know how to do these gym moves, especially the people who follow me because the people who follow me usually just, like, are getting into dribbling or they do a lot of, like, Steezo dribbling. So I'm going to be teaching y'all how to do this. This is a pretty simple move. It's called the D-Rose crossover. Um, so all y'all want to do for this is if the ball is in your left hand, on your right stick, tap top right to get that crossover. Or if the ball's in your right hand, tap top left. And then you just hold R2 and run in that direction. That's it. 
That's all you gotta do. Hold R2 and run in that direction. This move could be used for anything, for real. Like, you could be getting open, like... I don't know, just simple, because... It's just so fast, and it's so glitchy. Like, you don't know which way you're gonna go with it. Especially if you combo things together with it. This is like the left right cheese this year. If you guys if you guys know about that, then you guys know about that. That's there's nothing else to say about that. But um so yeah, there's that that uh Dero's crossover. That's number one. Now getting into the second move, man. Alright, getting into the second move, I'm gonna be teaching y'all the uh just this crossover. I don't know how you call it. The quick crossover speed boost? I don't know. I don't know what you wanna call this. The big cross. Oh my god, I'm messing it up. But it looks like that, chat. Sometimes I get a momentum out of it, but it looks like that. So, um, all you guys want to do for this... Okay, look. It's the same thing, same movement with the right stick as the D-Rose. You see how if the ball's in your left hand, you tap top right. If it's in your right hand, you tap top left on the right stick. You know what I mean? Except this time, you want to hold R2 while you do it. And then just run in that direction. So if you're... If the ball is in your left hand, hold R2, tap top right on the right stick, and then run right. You want to run like a bit after you click it, because if you run at the same time, it's going to give you guys a momentum like this. So click it and then run. Click it and then run. And just hold R2 the whole time. So that is like the big crossover. That gets you open as well a lot in stage. But yeah. I'm gonna go on to the next one. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this tutorial pretty, pretty easy. Pretty easy for y'all boys to follow. So, um, yeah, cause I don't got a hand cam yet, but I'm gonna be making this as easy as possible for y'all boys. And yeah, on to the next one. All right, next drill move I'm gonna be teaching y'all is the momentum crossover. It's pretty easy to do, to be honest with you. Um, if you guys don't know how to do it, I'm gonna be teaching y'all here. But it is a pretty simple move that's been in the game like every single year. But um. I know a lot of people who hold R2 while doing it, and it just drains your stamina. I've been teaching them how to how to do it without R2, but I don't know. They don't want to listen. Look, look. So this is how you guys want to do it. If the ball is in your left hand, you tap up on the right stick, and at the same time, you hold right on the left stick. So like you run left. I meant right, but you guys don't hold R2. So like this, you tap up and run and run left. Tap up and run right, and then you can just spam it back and forth. If you guys want you guys don't need to hold r2 at all for this so tap up and then move your uh, left stick right like that tap up and move your left stick left and then you just go up right up left up right up left up right you guys know what i'm saying that shit it's light it's light you could combo that into a bunch of things as well like all these moves i taught y'all boys the d rows this big crossover the momentum you guys might think oh these are simple moves they're not glitchy but yo you guys could combo them into like uh into glitchy moves, you know what I mean? Like you can make it like Comp. I'm gonna be teaching y'all a bit of combos later, so you guys just tune in. Alright. Next move I'm gonna be teaching y'all boys is the um the SETI slide. A lot of people actually don't know how to do this. Um to be honest, chat, it with with the SETI slide it's better if you don't use D rows, if you use like Kemba or something. But uh, D Rose still works. You're gonna catch him off guard still because um, you're gonna be uh, running into the paint. So for for the SETI slide, the best way to utilize this dribble move is to just dribble, dribble, do what you want to do. Make them think that you're threes hunting, right? I meant make them think that you just want to pass them, and then and then just SETI slide out and shoot it. It's that simple. Cause think about it. Look, if I run in and I just run out, you could do that. Oh shoot, I didn't even know you could do it that fast. But no, nah, it's pretty slow. But this the SETI slide just catches them off guard. You could also stun them with it if you have like a ankle break moves on and stuff. So yeah, all you want to do for the SETI slide is... Okay, I'm going to just teach it back here so that you guys know. But you do that crossover. So you tap top left or top right on the right stick. As soon as you do it, you hold R2 and hold down. Like down right, down left. So if I'm flicking the ball to my right hand... I hold R2 and hold the left stick down right after, like that. Same with the right hand. If you flick it over to the left, you hold R2 and then hold the left stick down left. It's just that simple. And you guys can combo it up. Look, I'm going to clip Kemba because Kemba's just not that guy, pal. 
I'm telling you guys, this this move will get you open. It's 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 really simple. I'm a, I'm just teaching y'all boys easy moves that'll like make you comp in the stage, bro. But yeah, on to the next one. All right, next drill move I'm gonna be teaching y'all boys is the this one. The between the leg spam. So it's pretty easy to do, as well. The only thing is to get it consistently, like to spam it. It does take a bit of practice because it is a rhythm. But uh, yeah, so what y'all boys want to do is, for this drill move, hold R2. If the ball's in your left hand, flick the right stick right, and then the left stick right. Like that. And then if the ball's in your right hand, flick the right stick left, and then the left stick left. So, and then all you got to do is just do it back and forth. If you do it once, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like that. But if you do it over and over, it's going to uh, look like this. But yeah. So that is like the uh, between the leg spam. I think that's what you guys want to call it because I know a lot of people have been asking me how I do it. And people be saying, yo, Boxy, how you do that between the leg spam? I'm guessing that that's what you guys mean when you guys say it. Um, yeah, so that's how you do it, yeah. But uh, yeah, getting on to the next move, man. Oh, yeah. Another move you guys want to know how to... Uh, want to learn how to do is this little misdirection crossover I'm gonna be teaching y'all a couple misdirections in this video but um this one's the misdirection crossover it looks like this um yeah it looks like this I just recently learned this myself it's really easy I, I used to do it by accident um but if you guys watch stage you guys will know a lot of people do this because it is a really simple move but it does give you a big speed boost off of it so um yeah, all you guys want to do for this, make sure you guys cover my sig. Use quick for this. It does not work on shifty, I don't think. But you do the crossover I taught you, the D-rows. Tap top left or top right. Except as soon as you do it, you hold R2 and then run the other way. But you run the other way in like a diagonal up. You don't run straight left or straight right. But So you tap. If the ball's in my left hand, I tap top right on my, left, on my right stick and then run left with R2. So tap top left without R2, and then run right with R2. It's just that simple. You guys can combo that up into a bunch of things, like like that. There's a bunch of things you guys could do with this. And these, these moves, I promise you, yo, if you guys master all these moves I'm telling you, you guys can be like a top stage guard. It's, it's, it's really like, being a stage guard this year is not that hard. You just got to know these simple moves to get open. So... I know like a lot of people are going to hate on me for making this left right or whatever dribble tutorial but yo I'm doing what's best for you guys if you guys want to win your games you guys need VC because I know VC is expensive bro you guys need VC bro just learn these moves and just hit the stage and just kill everybody bro like you guys you guys are going to be moving different after this but yeah on to the next one stuff next drill move I'm going to be teaching y'all boys is the hezzy step I'm sure a bunch of you guys know how to do it but I'm going to just go over it again in this video so if the ball is in your right hand, you flick the right stick right and the left stick left. And it will give you that, okay? If the ball is in your left hand, you flick the right stick left and the left stick right. Okay? It's that simple. As soon as you guys get that animation, you hold R2 and then uh, tap down on the right stick. So you do that, hold R2 and tap down on the right stick. Same with the right hand. So... I flick the right stick right, left stick left. As soon as I get that little hop, I hold R2 and flick down on the right stick. And it's that simple. That's how Hezzy be scoring in a bunch of his clips. It's a pretty easy dribble move. It does get you open a bunch of the times because nobody really dribbles like that. Shout out to my boy Hezzy for finding that out. Um, but yeah, I seen a bunch of people wanted to know how to do that as well. I see it in his videos, I see it in my videos. I don't really do the move much, but when I do, people are like, yo, what the hell did you just do? So, um, I don't know why Kemba loves to bump, though. Yeah, and you could spam the move too, Chaz. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's a pretty glitchy move, to be honest. Yeah, you could keep spamming it too. So, if you guys want to know how to do that, that... And just watch this video. <laughs> I already taught it, so next move. Alright, so for the next move, I'm going to be teaching y'all boys another misdirection crossover off of the Hezzy step. 
Um, so you're just getting rid of the last move where you do this little step back and you're just doing a speed boost out of it. So you go like, uh, you do the hezzy step this first part and then you just run out of it. You do the first part and then you just run out of it. So I'm going to be teaching y'all again the hezzy step. So if the ball's in my left hand, I tap left on the right stick and then right on the left stick like that. And then before the animation finishes, you hold R2 and run left. So like this. Oh, I messed up. I messed up, but like that. Same with the other hand. If you guys were in stage, you guys would see that this move is used a lot by a lot of uh, comp guards because it uh it just gives you a weird speed boost animation. I'm messing up right now, but the more you guys uh do it, the more you'll get the hang of it. Yeah, you guys could see I'm messing up. There you go. I hit it again. I'm just I'm just tapping R2 too quick, but. You guys saw what it's supposed to look like. I hit it again. And yeah, this move you could use in uh, in stage. You could, all these moves, I might be saying like, yo, use these in stage. But it's just because I want you guys to just like try it against competition. You guys could use it in park. If you guys use it in park, if you guys master all these drill moves and you go to park, I really doubt that you guys will ever lose a game because park is really easy this year, to be honest with you. But um, also... You guys know, like, when you when you learn how to dribble, it feels good. So, like, you feel like you're having more fun on the game. So I'd, I'd like, recommend that you guys actually just get in the lab and just dribble a bit. Just learn some of these dribble moves and then just go crazy in park. But, yeah, on the next one. Um, all right, the next one I'm going to be teaching y'all boys is another misdirection. Um, it looks a little bit faster. I like this misdirection more. Um, I find it's a bit... I wouldn't say harder, but it's a bit like weirder to like do on your controller. It's like it's like it's a weird thing to think about. But look, okay. If the ball is in your right left hand, you hold R2, tap your right stick right and the left stick left. Okay? Hold on. I'll do it again. It'll look like that. But before that animation plays out, you just want to flick the left stick back right. Like that. So you hold R2, flick the right stick right, left stick left, and then flick it right right away. Like that. That, that gives you a speed boost. Same with the right hand. So with the right hand, hold R2, flick the right stick left, and then the left stick right. It'll give you that animation. And before it plays out, flick your uh, left stick back the other way that you want to run. My bad, I messed it up, but... There you go. Just like that. It's a pretty simple move. You guys just got to get used to it. All these moves are actually really easy to do. Uh, you guys just need to get used to all the moves because uh, a lot of them are like not just self-explanatory. But you actually have to like think about doing them sometimes until you get the muscle memory. But yeah, just lab up like I said. And that's that move. Alright, now I'm going to be getting into um, the combos. Just a couple combos for y'all boys to get open. Because I pretty much taught all the misdirections, I taught uh, all the speed boosts, like all that stuff. So I'm going to be teaching y'all a couple combos and I'm getting into that right now. If the ball is in your right, left hand, you hold R2, tap your right stick right and the left stick left. Okay, hold on, I'll do it again. It'll look like that. But before that animation plays out, you just want to flick the left stick back right, like that. So you hold R2, flick the right stick right, left stick left, and then flick it right right away. Like that. that. That gives you a speed boost. Same with the right hand. So with the right hand, hold R2, flick the right stick left, and then the left stick right. It'll give you that animation. And before it plays out, flick your uh, left stick back the other way that you want to run. My bad, I messed it up. but There you go. Just like that. It's a pretty simple move. You guys just got to get used to it. All these moves are actually really easy to do. Uh, you guys just need to get used to all the moves because uh, a lot of them are like not just self-explanatory. But you actually have to like think about doing them sometimes until you get the muscle memory. But yeah, just lab up like I said. And that's that move. My bad. Uh, I forgot two more things. I'm going to teach them both right now because they're both simple. Um, there's this speed boost as well. If the ball's in your right hand. You hold R2, tap right on the right stick, and then run. There's that. 
If the ball's in your left hand, you hold R2, tap left, and then run. There's that speed boost as well. Um, oh, there's three things that I didn't teach. There's also this, this like Hezzy. The way I do it is you just, you just, you guys know how to run. So you just hold R2 and just run. And then while you're running, just tap L2. Just tap it. And uh, just keep running. Just don't let go of running. Just tap L2 and then it'll give you this little Hezzy. You could um, combo that in with a bunch of combos because people are not going to expect it. You guys know, like. Yeah, people just won't expect it. And um, also, there's this pullback animation you guys will have to learn how to do. So to do that, all you guys need to do is hold R2. Tap right on the right stick. If the, if the ball is in your left hand, tap right on the right stick and then down on the left stick. Left on the, left, on the right stick, down on the left stick. It's really simple. You guys could spam that over and over and over and just go crazy with that. But yeah. All right, now I'm going to get into the combos, y'all. All right, y'all. So for the first combo, it's going to be a really easy combo because I'm just teaching y'all how to get op how to get open, really. But um, for the first one, you could either start it with a... Um, no, this is how you do it. Okay, look. You guys do this big crossover I taught you. You hold R2 and then... You know this speed boost I taught y'all, boys? Just um, watch it early in the video. I taught y'all how to do this. So just do that. Before it plays out, tap... Uh, do the crossover back the other way. So if I'm doing the crossover left, tap top right on the right stick. And like, like let go of L R2 and tap top right. So it gives you the D-Rose crossover. And then just run the other way. And you can spam this too. Um, it's pretty glitchy in stage. If you guys are just running up the court, you can you can hit him with that. Or you could hit him with the misdirection. Um, run the other way. Or you can run the way you're supposed to go. This move is... Um, it's probably the, the most used move in stage, to be honest. Yeah, this is definitely the most used move in stage because it's so fast. And, like, you could just left right off of it as well. But, uh, so that's the first one. It goes from that big crossover straight to the D-Rose crossover. So you do the big crosser hol holding R2, let go of R2, tap the crossover, hold R2 again, and run. If you guys um, didn't understand that, just slow down the video, rewind the video, and then just... Uh, Rewatch, but this is pretty simple. Uh, that gets you pretty open in stage. Um, and yeah, so there's that one for the first combo. I'm going to get on to the next one. All right, for the next combo I'm going to be teaching y'all, this one's a bit harder because you're actually starting to combo things together. So um, yeah, like I said, I can make another uh, tutorial on standstill drilling because this has a little bit of standstill in it. But uh, you guys know how to do the between the legs. You don't hold R2. You just tap. If the ball's in your left hand, you tap straight right left right left like that it, it gives you that between the legs so this is the combo this is what the combo looks like chat well i messed it up but this is what the combo is going to look like and then you could just go out of it do whatever you want so it's pretty much it, it looks like that that's the combo I use that a lot in, uh, in my stuff because it's so fast that um, the defender doesn't know which way you're going to go. So all you got to do is, it's literally a double a double crossover, or a double momentum into between the legs. So you do a double momentum and then flick the right stick left. Double momentum, flick the right stick right. Double momentum, flick the right stick left. And you just do it quick. So double momentum, flick the right stick right. Double momentum, flick the right stick left. And this whole time you're not holding R2. So it looks like this. It looks like this. Oh my gosh. It looks like this again, chat. And then you can just um, hit like a, a crossover out of it or something. So that's another one that you guys want to uh, learn how to do. All these moves you guys can... Um, all these moves can be comboed together, by the way. So um, all the moves that I taught you can be comboed together. It's just... Um, Really, you guys gotta find your own combos, but these are some things that work for me in the stage. So I'm gonna teach y'all. I'm teaching y'all those. All right. So for the next move, I'm gonna be teaching y'all boys. It's really just up to your preference how you want to do it. But you just dub you just keep momentuming, and as you're momentuming, you want to catch the timing when to do this between the legs that I taught you into back into momentum. Hey, hey, 
there's nothing really I could teach y'all boys because I already taught y'all how to do this. You really just have to have a good hand-eye coordination because you need to know when to do the like momentum which way and when to do the between the legs which way. But pretty much it's just like this. You tap up on the right stick and right to do that crossover I'm at momentum. And then once it's in that hand, you hold R2 and then do do the between the legs that I taught y'all boys, that between the legs. You could just spam the between the legs if you want, like that. And then um, you just add the momentum to it. So yeah, so it'll look like, it, it's kind of hard to get used to. I just woke up, yo, that's why I sound a bit weird and that's why uh, um, it might be a little hard for you guys to understand some of the stuff. But I know for a fact I am teaching it properly. If you guys don't understand, it's just because you guys can't do it. Just give up. No, I'm playing. Don't give up, but just keep trying. Um, this jump move is pretty glitchy. You guys will see people like Irish bots doing it to get open. Even on a 6-7, he gets open with that jump move. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I gave you guys a bit of combos, bro. Like, I don't know what else to give you guys because um, this is just a video on how to get open, not how to look glitchy and, like, how to, like, kill somebody, you know? Like, get a clip. But, um, all these moves I taught y'all boys how to get open, I promise you they, they work in stage. Um, if you guys want another video on how to, uh, what's it called? How to stand still dribble. Uh, I could make another video for y'all on that. I'm gonna be showing y'all why, um, these sigs, why, why I'd have to make it another video. Because D-Rose gives you this glitchy crossover, right? And it gives you not the not very good steady slide. Um, it also gives you a bad behind the back. Like if you want to do it fast. You guys see how slow that is? If I put on... What happened? If I put on um, Kemba Walker instead. You guys could do all these moves with Kemba Walker by the way. Everything I taught y'all boys you could do with Kemba Walker. It'll look nice as well. But it just won't be as fast as D-Rose. The only thing that will be faster is the SETI slide in the between the legs, probably. But, um, if you guys are running stage, I'd say just use D-Rose because it's glitchier, it's faster. If you don't know how to do the moves as well or combo the moves as well, at least you'll be, you'll be gone quick because, uh, it's a faster sig. But, um, so yeah, Kemba gives you this crossover. This is what the SETI slide looks like with Kemba. It's really glitchy, to be honest. Um, because it's a lot faster. You could just run straight out. And then you could just, like, left-right with Kemba. But, um, also, yeah, this is the reason that, uh, I'd have to make another video on it, is Kemba SIGs are, like, a lot faster. So I'd have to change my SIGs around and, um, teach y'all boys. A it's, it's really different, the standstill, standstill dribbling from fast mid or glitchy dribbling, because it's a lot more, like, it's a lot more harder to teach, first of all, because, uh, Really stand still, it's it's all about your own preference. There's not really combos that you want to do. You just do moves and then just combo your own moves together with it. Like, you just invent stuff with it. But uh, I could give you guys a tutorial on that down below if you guys do want that. It is pretty fun to do, to be honest. It does look pretty cool to me. It reminds me of like 2K16, 2K17 days. Because that's how people used to dribble back then, to be honest. They used to stand still. They used to just sit there and just, just spam dribble moves. But yeah, I'm messing up right now. But yeah, if you guys want another video on that, I could teach you guys that. But uh, yeah, I appreciate y'all boys for uh, staying to the end of the video. If you guys are seeing this, I appreciate all y'all boys. Make sure you guys drop a sub, drop a like, uh, comment on the video if you guys can, man. I really appreciate it. This is my first dribble tutorial in Season 2. I did one back in Season 1, but I showed you guys my SIGs right here. These are the SIGs that you guys want to use if you guys are going to stage. But I gave a little bit of leeway. Like, if you guys want to take off D. Lillard and put on Trey Young, you guys could do that. Or if you guys want Kemba instead of D. Rose, you guys could do that. But, yeah, I appreciate all of y'all for staying to the end of the video. And, uh, yeah, I'm out, man. Peace.